The project for today involves this chimney. We have developed signs of what appears to be a leak or some seepage inside the house. So I need to get up on that chimney and I'm gonna try to see if I can find any signs of a leak and get them patched up. And then I'm gonna use a sealer on the bricks to try to keep water out. And finally, I'm going to put a cap on top of the flue there on the very tippy top. And of course, the biggest challenge is gonna be figuring out a way to get up there and get all that done without falling off the roof. So let's get going. Dig drive, DIY. So we're not sure what could be causing the leak on the inside. It's just more like a seepage. It doesn't run down the wall. And well, the water could actually be coming from running inside the flue and maybe it's working its way through a crack inside and coming through the block up against the wall. We're not sure, but uh, we gotta see if we can figure out. I'm gonna do multiple things at once to see if the leak slows down, but all of it needs done regardless if it doesn't stop the leak, so. Well, I know what I need to get done, but the challenge is getting up there safely. A ladder is the least of my options. I, I hate the idea of leaning a ladder up against a chimney, although I have done that in the past. I might be able to, like, the dump truck's probably not gonna be any good, really. I could use the backhoe. Maybe I could put the forks on the hoe and a pallet and lift myself up high like I do to get into the barn. That doesn't seem that safe either, but, oh. Well, I'll just use this. This is my farmer cousin's bucket truck. They have graciously let me borrow this on many occasions, and it is one of the handiest things to have around in the neighborhood. So this is a 2005 F550. It's got the six liter diesel in it, and I actually have a pretty good history with this truck. It used to belong to my former employer, and I have driven this thing all over the country installing RTK network systems. So I've literally driven this from Ohio to Oregon. And that's a long ride in an F550. <laughs> I'm glad to just be uh, using it at home now. Hi, kitty. Can I use these boards? Okay, thank you. So, the yard is fairly dry, but I still want to try to minimize any ruts that I might produce. So these are just particle board shelves. They'll probably bust instantly, but we'll see how they hold up. If they don't hold up, I'll just give up on them. This may be a complete joke. I don't know. It's going to take a little extra time, but hopefully it's worth it. I don't know. Okay, here goes nothing. I know it's gonna bust these all up. I dug them out of the trash. We are getting close. And I don't know if this is 100% worth it, but you know what? This took a little extra time. But I think I'll be able to reach everything from right there. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Man, what a pain in the butt. I wish I had looked to see how long that took, but it's better than fixing ruts. Maybe the yard was firm enough, but this way's better. Right, Kara? <laughs> I tried to seal up what I thought could have been potential problems before. I well, caulked I caulking, yeah. with caulk. When I went to the very top, you know, the concrete cap looks good on top of the brick. Yeah. Obviously, the flue is wide open. 
Is so it water tied around the flu to the cap. Yeah. You know, water could be running down inside. My theory is water could be running on the inside sure, and getting through sure. a crack in the oh, flu yeah. and then through the block. Yeah. Well, let's go look and see. Yeah, in back there is where technically I think it would be leaking. Uh-huh. You know, right up. The, the, the wet spot in the wall has got to be... Pretty darn close to there, yeah. Pretty darn close to where, like, this soffit lines up with there. And I guess that's where I thought this could possibly uh, be coming up high enough. Well, it could. Well, yeah, it could get up under that drip edge. This is all caught. Did you do that or? Yeah, I did that. Okay. You know, whether that could get up and get to the fascia board and then wick back in somehow. Yeah, I think you it would know, have to wick. I would. Uh, bag that one? I would that in a heartbeat. Okay. It's just so fine that it's going to automatically right. plug it right. up. Uh, you might leave it in there until clip, clean these leaves out. I, now I could be wrong. You might end up plugging it up here, but at least that's not too bad to get to. I think this was done well. It's they tapered that nice. There. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. You the, don't think it's this side that's leaking. Well, so. like the leak is technically behind it's yeah. on, it would be on this face of the chimney. If it was really... That was there the before morning. the roof, yeah. Okay. See, this is all part of the original, this part. So that's all solid and you got, you know, up a little ways at least. Right. Uh-huh. So I would say ceiling and a cap is about the only thing I would say that... You don't see any obvious intrusion no. point. No, I don't. I. Well, I'm I was glad kind of hoping I would, but kind of hoping I wouldn't. Right, right. right. And we had yeah. seen, you know, there was times where you see smoke <laughs> coming out the cracks of the chimney. <laughs> really? So your yeah. best bet is to try to keep water from running down inside the flue. Yes. With the cap. Yes. Yes. All right. These brick, now this is all pretty tight masonry, you know, so Too I think good. it'd be worth sealing it while you Sure. Got it. Oh, yeah. The block, the chimney is 1979. The brick is 2008, I think. Uh -huh. And they put this cap on when they did the brick record. They must have. Yeah. Well, I think it looks really good. Uh, well, I think I'm going to start with the cap and get that done. And then I'm going to seal it up. And if I see anything on my way while I'm sealing, then I'll... I'm glad to have your input on the, you know, the assessment of that for sure. <laughs> That's a brush maintainer, right? Keeps the bristles straight. Now, how do you get it in there? That's a little more difficult than getting it out. <laughs> you just, you just, I just buzz them out with my drill. Oh, and then you lay it down. And then, yeah, you pack this in nice and straight. Oh. And zip, zip. It's for long-term storage. And then that holds it in. Otherwise, right. it, it, it'll pop out. That's what a craftsman does. <laughs> for real. It's a nice natural bristle. It's boar's hair or whatever. All right, my father-in-law, Rick, who you just saw, is my advisor on this project. He's got a lot more experience with masonry stuff than I do, but anyway, he gave us this Thompson's water seal to uh, seal up the brick up there. So rather than take this five gallon can all the way up there in the bucket, I'm just going to try to pour it in this water jug and then all right. Somebody's coming here in this four wheeler. You've been watching my videos? Yeah. You have? Cool. Just picked this up not too long ago. Oh yeah? Traded a go-kart and a Chinese four-wheeler for, or a Chinese dirt bike for this. Oh wow. That looks too small. All right, well, I think I have this remote control working. Oh yeah. Now I can get up there and shut it off. Oh yeah. Now I'll be stranded up here if it doesn't restart. <laughs> Take a look in the flue too, by the way. See in there? 
drop my brand new phone down the chimney. No real issues there, no cracks. I think you just bend the tabs. Oh yeah. Gotta still let the smoke out, right? I'm gonna leave her pretty low because we don't use this chimney all that often. All right, I think that looks pretty good. They're not too tight. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put some sealer on all the stone and masonry. would be miserable without this truck. Chimney cap is on. Top is sealed. All four sides of the brick are sealed. I got it sealed all the way down there. Cleaned out the gutters that I could reach. And uh, well, hi George. Okay, all done sealing. The sun's going down. I need to get the truck out of the yard and back to the rightful owner, but I do have one more thing I need to tackle first. So let's get this out of the yard and move on to that. little project. The limb right there is dead and broken off. If I can get up there and get that out quick, that would save me a lot of monkeying around. So let's see if I can get it. You got the saw? I think that's it. Well, took most of the day, but mission accomplished. Chimney cap on, chimney sealed. We hope that that'll alleviate the leaks that maybe were coming from inside the flue. Well, Kara is making pretty good progress on this room. She got the walls painted. It's been about a week since we did the chimney seal. She 
She's got that covered up and sealed. It hasn't bled through yet, so that's a good sign. We have had a couple rains since I put the chimney cap on. I don't think the seal did anything, but I think the cap probably has had the most benefit. Just water not running down the inside of that flue liner, so. We'll see, time will tell, but for now, looks good. Thanks to my father-in-law, Rick, for his advice and help on the masonry questions. And thanks to Rumpke Farms for letting me use this truck. I want to thank you so much for watching, and if I'm lucky, I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care. So does it run pretty good? Yeah. Got a lot of lighting for this sucker. You got a throttle extender, huh? A zip ties with a new duct tape and the new bailing wire. Yeah. Well, you be careful. Don't tear up the driveway now. Ha, ha, ha.